Hey guys, it's Sophia again, and yes, I got bangs and layers in my hair, so I'm super excited to show you guys um, in future videos ways to style my hair now that I have bangs and layers, and I'm so excited, I just got it cut today. Um, but today, I'm going to be showing you three ways to do a bun, um, because there's a lot of different ways, but see, I'm just going to narrow it down to three. And I have my sister Lara here to be my model. Thank you so much, Lara. Um, so we're just going to jump right in. Um, and I hope you guys like it. All right. The first style is how to wrap your hair up with a sock bun. So I'm just going to put her hair into a basic ponytail. And this is the point where buns kind of vary, because at this point, you can choose to braid something at the top of the head or just you know do a twist or whatever so this part of the style is kind of up to you and you can decide if you want a high bun or a low bun or even a side bun i'm just going to do a middle bun and it took me a while to figure out actually how to do the sock bun because all the hair kept getting tangled everywhere but i figured out a way to keep it all smooth and the trick is to use some water to dampen down the hair. This is just a spray bottle of water. I've showed it to you guys before. I'm just gonna spray her hair a little bit and then brush it through. And it's just gonna kind of keep it all uniform so that way we don't have too many flyaways. And then I have my sock bun here, and I actually made this from just an old sock I had, a clean sock, don't worry. And I just simply kept, um, cut off the little toe part and then just rolled it up until I have like a little donut. And what you're gonna do is put it in the hair, and then bring it out to the very end of the ponytail. And this is another part where I got confused. You don't wanna bring it all the way out, like to here, because then it'll just fall out as you're trying to roll it. So you want to bring it out till maybe two inches or so left in the hair. And you're just going to fold that up on one section and then start pushing the bun back up. And then as you're pushing it up, you're taking your fingers and you're wrapping the hair all around the sock. So it gets evenly distributed. And this is another really pretty way to make like a really big voluminous bun because it just creates that perfect shape that everybody's looking for. So just twist it up until it's just about to the head. I twist it one more time up. And if it gets too loose, just tug on it like this so it tightens. And then continue twisting. Okay, can you turn it this way, please? Thank you. Okay. And when you've got it how you want it, then I'm just going to put my hand on it and then get some bobby pins and just pin right underneath it up so it's against your head. But you're not actually going to see these bobby pins because you're just grabbing the hair on the bottom of the bun and then just pin them underneath the bun, basically. So, just work with it until you've got the shape that you want. But this is a really simple way to create a bun. So you can just work with it just like that. And that is one, the first way to create a ballet bun. The second way, we are also going to be using a hair donut, but it's different. You're going to put it on the ponytail and then tighten the hair, but leave it at the base like this. Put your head down. So, and then you're just going to let the hair fall and then arrange it. So you basically just covered your entire bun. And if you'll tip your head this way to the back, tip your back, please. Thank you. Just like that. Now put your head up. You're going to take just another elastic, it can be any, any color because it'll be covered, and just put it on top of it just like that. 
So tip your head this way, please. Thank you. So you just created your bun, but you still have all this leftover hair. Crazy, craziness. So then you're just gonna take a section from the back and just start twisting it. And as you twist, you're just gonna add all the hair into the front and just twist it all in. See, your twist will get bigger as you go along, obviously, but that's okay. That's gonna look actually, that's the point of the look of the bun. So you're gonna keep twisting until you have all your hair twisted together and just twist it all the way down and continue wrapping it. And then with these little endies, I just, thank you, hide them underneath and then bobby pin it. So we'll just secure with some bobby pins just right underneath. Thank you. Just wherever you feel it needs to be secured. This feels quite secure to me. This is probably my favorite style using the sock bun. There's quite a few ways. Um, I just love the look of this one where you have the open bun. Bring it back. Thank you. The open bun, but you still have a twist around it. I just love this style. So this is number two. third one is a braided bun, but it's not the typical braided bun that you're thinking of. It is braided, but the way I like to make it is to split the hair into two equal parts. Can you hold this one for me, please? Thank you. And then you're going to braid each section. So just split one of those two parts to three pieces and braid pretty tightly all the way down. And it doesn't have to be perfect, your sections don't exactly have to be equal. Just, you know, as much as you can get them because it will be wrapped around. But you want it pretty tight so the bun will stay. So just braid down as far as you can. And then once you're there, just secure it off with a little rubber elastic. And then you're going to do the same thing to the other side, but braid it in the opposite direction. Once you got your two little braid thingies, just tighten them down. And then you're going to take one of them and while keeping it flat, to it down. Keeping it flat, you're going to wrap it around itself. So you're basically wrapping it around the other braid, like this, and then just secure it with a few bobby pins. I'm just gonna put a couple in, just wherever needs pin. And then you're gonna take your other braid, and because I wrap this way with this braid, I'm gonna wrap this way with the other braid, and wrap it around that braid now. And it just makes it fuller and have more detail in the bun. So I like doing this method when I'm doing my braided buns. And then again, just pin it down where it needs to be secured. And our hair hair stays really well. I don't even need to use too many bobby pins. Like I just used, I think maybe four or five there. And I'm just gonna use one more right here. And just tuck those little undies in. Put your head up. Yup, and that is it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please comment below and let me know which bun look was your favorite and what you think of my hair and what other styles you think uh, I should do with my new bangs and new layers because I'm so excited and I've got some ideas on how to style them. But let me know if you have any ideas um, and I will see you next week. Bye!